Hi everybody, I want to go over this week's MLA application assignment. I got a question about it, it was a really good question. Um, this is a little bit broader of what I sent back in that email. Um, but I know that when you get there, you're going to have questions too. So I wanted to break down this week's assignment for you. I've got a hair in my mouth. <laughs> Sorry. How to approach this week's assignment. Um, so this week's MLA application, this week's hacker readings, discuss these statements in detail. So does the link on Blackboard, which I also link later in this PowerPoint, um, with the knowledge that you have from Hacker, reading all the Hacker parts that you are assigned for this week, plus reading the Grammarly link, which is later in this, but it's also on Blackboard. Um, you look at your written responses from the past weeks um, and you consider if you were making a huge argument paper about that piece of writing that you read and then wrote a reading res writing response about, what would your thesis be? And you just think about that. You throw it around in your head. You ponder it. Um, think about it, make some notes, but that's not what the assignment is. So what's the assignment? Um, here's where it gets a little confusing in the, in the prompt. Um, and, and I don't write them, so I think sometimes they're confusing to me too, and I really have to break it down. And that's what I have done here is really break it down for you all. Um, you don't write the thesis statements to those. You only think about them. Um, so what's next? So what you do write is two thesis statements, two separate, separate thesis statements. One to each of two, so you're writing one thesis statement about one of these prompts and one thesis and another separate altogether separate thesis statement about another one of these prompts so it's like you're going to write two argument papers answering one of these prompts but then you do it twice and then here are the prompts they're also on blackboard um write a detailed description to use of the use of argument in a modest proposal. Do not summar summarize the argument made, but discuss the tactics Swift employs to present his message. Or, separate, you discuss Vonnegut's use of satire in his piece. What does he satirize and why do you think he wrote it? Um, separate one, select two of the poems and compare how they reflect the theme conformity and rebellion. Consider tone, audience, and theme as you respond. And separate, um, what do you think the title Two Kind signifies in this short story? Support your ideas with specific examples in the text. Okay, so I'm confused. So, okay, let me help. Um, you're writing two different thesis statements for two different pretend papers. So if you're using, so you are using examples from the text. For example, you'll have one thesis statement. This is just one of the examples. You have one thesis statement making an argument about Vonnegut's piece. If you chose discuss Vonnegut's use of satire in his piece, blah, blah, blah. And your other thesis statement, separate, altogether different thesis statement, would be if you chose the one, say, from a modest proposal. 
and that's write a detailed description and so forth. Um, and that you can read the slide um, or, you know, it's on Blackboard or on the previous slide. Okay, keep going. So it says don't look outside of the piece of art. The piece of art is, is the story or the poems themselves. So you, you only look at that piece of art or if it's poems, the two, to write your argument paper thesis. Um, so you don't do research about the piece of writing. You don't do look up the piece of writing except what you read in the literature book. Um, you're writing thesis statements about them as if you were going to write write papers. So it'd be two different papers. One would be about one piece of writing and one would be about another piece of writing. Okay, so this is starting to make sense, but tell you more. So one thesis statement is about, like I just said, one piece of writing and it makes an argument. So that's for one pretend paper because they're pretend papers because all you're writing is the thesis. A separate thesis statement is for another prompt above, um, above uh, previously in this, um, about another piece of writing, making an argument for a different pretend paper. So you're writing two thesis statements, well, that's four, two thesis statements total, but they're not the same pretend paper. They're two different pretend papers. Um, so you have to make sure that you read Hacker and that you've read this Grammarly link. Um, I don't think it'll work from this video, but it is on Blackboard. It's linked on Blackboard. In both of those, well, the re reading and hackers in three separate places. In all of those, um, they talk specifically about writing thesis statements. And in the Grammarly one, they go really into detail about um, argumentative thesis statements. Um, which this that's what you're writing. You're writing a thesis statement and you're writing an argumentative thesis statement. So to break it down one more time, you're writing two thesis statements. One of them is an argumentative thesis statement about one writing. I mean, yeah, one piece of reading, which is one piece of writing. So one, one reading that addresses one of the prompts that is about that reading. The other is an argumentative thesis about another reading that addresses the one prompt that is about that reading. So to summarize, if you were writing to the prompt, discuss Vonnegut's use of satire in his piece. What does he satirize and why do you think he wrote it? If you were writing to that, you would address it this way. He's my favorite writer, by the way. You're writing about the story Harrison Bergen by Kurt Vonnegut. Um, you're writing a thesis statement. You're making an argument about his use of satire. And it would include what he satir satirizes and why he wrote it. Then you do it all over again for another one of the prompts. And here are the prompts again. And ta-da! You have two argumentative thesis statements, and that's the assignment. Thanks! Oh, that was weird looking. Um, thanks, and this ran a little bit longer than I meant it to, but I really appreciate you hanging in there. 
and I hope that clarified things a little bit.